just yet. Now, Fiku looks to be the first dump for the plate. Here does have support over towards Toxic. You know, they're playing a nice bait and switch here. Fasha yet to uncover his position. Do they now overlook him? Yes, they do. This is perfect. Finds one. Taps away at the second, but Savannah does a 180. Savannah doubles up. Eli won more. But next, in from the sideline to favor here. I, I of course, reckon I should favor OG, but then Fino pulls off a shot like that, and Regali sent hacking early. Fasha's cleaning up quite nicely, though, and... As much as Fino does have that A1S, the only A1S in the server for that matter. Unlikely we'll see any much more get done here as the E-Live is bodied by Keto. And Fino is left on their lonesome. Chucks the A1S out the map and honestly I completely agree with that decision making. It's a shame they chuck... Asher and Tang though, blow for blow. As Keto does manage to find solace in the back of dice, but unfortunately for him, Matty's also finds his head. And next to it tonight, on one way gets away with a massive double. Elo trades a bit of IGL v IGL action. But now Fiku coming in from the back lines looks to pincer and encapsulate these two players. See, Eli has just changed plot position. Regali can deny with a USP frag. Now eight seconds remain. Tagged. No way he goes for the bomb block! Tier 1, but... That's only some of their... Ooh, goodness, underlying issues. Matty's apparently an underlying issue as well for Fasha. As into the 4 versus 3 we go. The CT side again coming out on top. As again, I say Sampi is our surprise playoffs team here. Maybe perhaps by statistics, but... When it comes to Calibre on the server... I mean, Regali is still doing great work... But Matty's also nice trading. Matty's doubles up. And now an honest possibility here for the boys of Sampi. I mean, Matty's is their star. This is their chief destroyer. He's the guy who has to do most of the heavy lifting. He's low on health right now. Fiku working in conjunction with Regali. Fiku will swing the Eli gets the kill. Regali goes for the spray drop. Fast play coming to Sampi, changing up the pace right now, charging in towards the speed bombs like Fiku's head ripped right off. Nexa, the next point of contact. He's trying to buy time for rotations to come through. The Eli leaps through the smoke. Tag goes aerial. Eventually, Fasha arrives on the scene, and it's a three versus three. Uh, difficult times here for both sides, but Basher playing ahead of the Molotov. It looked like the right idea, but Mattis will send him backing. Flat packs him as that bomb is planted. A bit more pace in this one for Sam P. Is now Keto in from the side. Do they anticipate a second short player? Clearly they do, as they leave it completely unattended. In the best possible well. way. They deal with the other opposition. I meant to say they didn't show themselves to the short side. As now Matis is forced back by a Molotov. Keto continues to dance around. Hey, they've got Keto and Regali up there as... Oh, there we go. They've done it again. Matis and Savannah. That should be a round win off the back of it. Basha forced back by the Flames. No opportunity to retrieve weaponry. And that is such good util usage from Sampi. This is a perfectly played round. And Savannah bangs another headshot. They've really warmed up into it now. But Keto refuses to lay down and take it. Swings wide. Finds one. But it's peppered in the process. Regali now needs to go huge. For anybody sees ahead of tank, but it's a moment too late. And with that, what seven matches have Sam Pete? So it surprises me they're doing so well right now, but that freaking that. last time, or... <laughs> yeah, we struggle to have fun here. You know, we just we like to spice things up a little oh, bit. That's so sad. <laughs> Oh. Ralph looking pretty sad here for the round, and this banner can actually swing it back in his team's favor. Oh, Regali eventually steps in, and he has the final word in that exchange. Nexa was trading blows with Savannah. Four versus two. Good awareness there from Nexa on the angle. Now knows where the final player is in the round. Fino forced backwards. This was the all-in investment from Sampi, and they barely have anything to show for it. Yeah, single kill onto Fasha. They're doing worse here than they did in the... Sure completely aware that there could be a threat, but doesn't mean he's going to be able to get that kill. Regali must oh, get no. the He's missed the shot, and that will cost Keto his life. That is a monster 2k from Matt. He's absolutely bang room in this round for Sampi. OG stuck at Fountain. Nexa very low, and look at all the utility that Nexa have. has. If he goes down, it would be a tragedy. Fiku instead to fall. Now a two versus three, Sampi staring down the barrel of a massive victory here. 
as OG, a little bit of an embarrassment, bagged, forcing his way through the bathrooms, might just have the perfect timing. If he rounds this corner here, he could end the round here oh, and now, no. but no. Instead, it's Savannah who goes back for its boss, the first and the second. A 2K spray down and Zampi wins six. Flashbang, Savannah is equipped for this instance and Matty's, hello. First shot onto Fasha clean, but Keto full blinded lands another. Eli back with more. Regardless, Savannah, Savannah will double. And it's all up to Fiku now in a one versus three. He a lot of hard work and a lot of stars aligning, I'd say. Matt is going to call some rotations to come through towards his B-bomb slide. He will be best, but at least he gets a kill in the process. Fasha will go down without any impact. 4v2 retake looking very doable right now for Sampion towards B once again. That's a nice kill from Regali. Himself and Keto looking to work in tandem. Minus Regali from that equation. Keto creeps his way up long right now. There's a kit under smoke on Savannah and they're going to just hard clear him out. Needs to be a big play. Why whip out Util there? Oh, that's so wrong. As Keto back Savannah as well and things drastically go awry. Look at this position for the E live. It's all unraveled so quickly for Sampi. Only Fino left remaining, and Keto loves this position. There is three players in this smoke, and Savannah gets brutalized. Next, a chosen for another. Tagged a nice spray. Can't convert the second, but looking for another will go down to Regali. Now, all for Regali in this one, and the E life might not have his life for much longer. That's ease, though. Keeps things somewhat competitive. The E life catches the bomb carrier, but not Nexa. That's he's now a one versus two. I don't want to say it's outside the realms of possibility. He's got Kepler, he's got a kit, he's got a smoke. Nexa, half HP, Fiku tagged. Oh, but Nexa doesn't give a... With these online cups. Yeah, no, I, I mean, I respect teams that take the leap into the online cup circuits. I mean, that much use to his team here is it's them getting flanked towards B lane. Mattis, though, my God. Double over towards Cave when they have different elevations. Keto, though, is spotted by Savannah. A 4v2 now. Only Nexa left on this bomb site. In fact, he's not on the bomb site. He's in a smoke with E Live. And oh, they just walk captains. past each other. No. Whoa. No way. This not is what like we call this. a captain's agreement. No, Nexa. <laughs> Unfortunately for him, it doesn't really mean much. Wait, wait, wait. Hold on a second. The bomb is now rotating back in that direction. No. Okay. There's 30 seconds on the clock here. How does Nexa make this work? He's going to have to cook up something magnificent. Hasn't been spotted out at all. They're assembling the boost to try and peer above the smoke grenade. Is that going to give them a gap? Yes, it does. Nexa gets the kills. The response to Eli wants to clear out Fiku. Seeing the gun barrel will work in tandem with his teammate to get that kill. Four versus four. Has to be a retake for OG. They've got utility. They've got kits. It's not impossible. In fact, it's very doable but they need to find these kills to try and open up the retake. Big kill from Kito coming in from the back lines, but Fino strikes harder down towards long. Eli has this back line covered off, at least for now. Kito, he's sent packing. One versus three now for Regali. It's not going to happen, and by God, they've done it. That is 2-0 for Sampi over OG in our round of 16. The invite team... Embarrassed in their wake by Sampi, the 3-2 Warriors.